Why don't we just pair up? I'm not into I'm, touching, I'm, okay? I'm, I'm not letting okay. you put that out front. I'm no touching, no touching. No touching, I won't touch you. I was paired up with Isaac. He was like, no touching. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. The music will start. The boys will turn around. So, right. gentlemen, let's turn. Gorgeous. And then we start walking. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then maybe let's look at the gentlemen. Gentlemen, you guys can acknowledge us. Ooh, who is this? Cool. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. Oh, no. Yeah, I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to go along, go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. Why don't we just pair up? I'm not into I, touching, I'm, okay? I'm, I'm not letting okay. me put that out front. I'm not. Grandpa walks off show once he found out his dance partner is a transgender. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High, name is Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to go along, go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. Why don't we it's just time to stand up and be a man of God. Okay? It's time to stand up and be a man of God. And what that man said in this video was absolutely right, man. And you notice how the, out, of, out of all the three men, you got a so-called white man, Esau, a Chinese man, Moab, and a so-called black man, um, an Israelite. Okay, and the only one that was able to, that, that, that 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 bucked up against this wickedness was the Israelite man, which shows you that we are inherently righteous, and these other nations are inherently wicked. All right, now let's grab this right here, Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that man said, it's time to stand up and be a man of God. And that, hey, I saw this, I saw this video at 2 a.m. in the morning. And I wanted to do a video then, but I knew I had to be, I had to be up in like two hours for, for uh, the plantation. So I'm doing it now. But that shit got me fired up, man. I'm like, yo, man, absolutely right. It is time to stand up and be a man of God. Now, now obviously, he, you know, he ain't, you know, he ain't following the customs of a man of God. You know, he got to shave, face shave, head, whatever. But to a certain degree, where do you draw the line, man? You know, to a certain degree, where do you draw the line? He also said how, you know, he 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 don't condemn him. He don't wish none. But, you know, he, you know, he, he pray for him. But the Lord told us not to pray for these people, man. These niggas, look at this big ass nigga right here, man. Dressed in, a, in female clothes. This is wickedness, man. This is wickedness. I don't know what show this is, but they're trying to pr promote wickedness. And, and and they want the, 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 the they're trying to get the. The, the uh, youth, you know, but in this video, they just happen to get older men. OK. And, you know, you, you, you see these older men conforming. But even this Jake, he said, no, nah, I ain't doing this, man. I'm sorry. I can't do it. He walked off, which me personally, I wouldn't even been on that fucking show, man. All right. Because this is just madness, man. But they're trying to push weakness. They're trying to push uh, uh, iniquity, man. All right. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And it's time for us to stand up and be men of God. Okay. And if the world hates us for it, so be it. Okay. If, 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 if they look down on us, they, they shun us, if they talk shit about us, so fucking be it, man. Okay. And you saw how that punk said, oh, this is going to be a problem. And that fucking deep ass voice, man, what the fuck is going on around here, bro? And excuse my language, but somebody got to... <laughs> How, how, how can you not curse when you see the state of this world, man? Curse this, 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 this damn world, okay? To hell with this place. It is wicked. It must be destroyed, and it will be, okay? It will be destroyed. Let's play this back, and I'm going to grab some more scriptures, but let's play this back. Now. I'm not into I'm, touching, I'm, okay? I'm, I'm not letting okay. me put you that out front. Touch I'm touch no, touching, no touching, no touching. No touching. I won't touch you. I was paired up with Isaac. Was I like, was paired up with Isaac? What the fuck is this, man? Got, it, got, it got his chest all out with glitter on the chest. Hey, America must be destroyed and it will be, man. Okay? It will be. 
And a man made a, a great statement. He said, a man should not wear on, put, have on women's clothes. That's in the Bible. Let's show you. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, which is going into pants. You got women wearing pants now sagging, thinking that, 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 that they men, which is cross-dressing. Okay, you're a cross-dresser. But it has been more normalized. Now they're trying to normalize the other half, which is men wearing female clothes, dresses, skirts, you know. When you allow a little wickedness, more wickedness comes with it. It says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, no woman should even be wearing this shit, but damn sure shouldn't be no man wearing it, man. Okay? For all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So this is an abomination, man. This is filthy, disgusting, okay, and offensive to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? This, 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 this is no not touching. the way. Look at this guy. No touching. Like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, because they're trying they're, they're, they're trying to make you conform to wickedness, man. They want you to conform to wickedness. Okay? And a righteous man is not is not going for it, man. Okay? A man in his right mind and the right spirit, they're not going for it. Okay? Let's bring that back. Heard up with Isaac. He was like... And that's spiritual. His name is Isaac. Because that's a biblical name. Okay? That's spiritual. His name is Isaac. All right, and that Jake said, "Nah, I ain't doing this." He walked off the show, man. It's gonna come a, it's gonna come a point where we all gonna have to walk off this motherfucking show, man. Okay, this show called America Babylon. Okay. No touching. I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be fun." The music will start. The boys will turn around. So, right, gentlemen, let's the turn. The boys will turn around. This motherfucking thing called these grown men boys. The boys will turn around. You see what world we living in, man? This place must be destroyed. And this is a part of Esau's plan. Okay, this is this is all a part of his plan. Okay. Because they know that if we partic part participate in this madness, it's sin. Okay, this is sin. And if we participate in it, the Lord is going to be upset with us. Okay. It says 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. This is what Satan's trying to do. He's trying to get an advantage of us. Okay, he's trying to push. He he making you he, he paint everything colorful and telling you it's okay, but it's not. They're trying to get advantage of you. It says, "For we are not ignorant of his devices, his plans, man. Okay, his wicked, evil schemes to try to destroy us. We're not ignorant of that, man. Okay. Everybody else is, but we're not ignorant of it. And even this Jake, you know, he you know he you know he a Christian, you know he you know in his mind he, he don't really know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai." But you, 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 you know, even in that base state of Christianity, you gotta, you, you, you gotta, at some point, you gotta stand up, man. Okay. What does, what does the scripture say? Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Gorgeous. And then we start walking. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then maybe let's look at the gentleman. Gentlemen, you guys can acknowledge us. Ooh, who is this? Cool. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. Well, uh, the, 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 the real men of God feel differently. Okay, this is Psalm chapter 119, verse 115. Depart from me, you evildoers. You see, we want you to depart from us. Okay. We want you to depart from us. To hell with you niggas, man. To hell, to hell with you heathens. To hell with you fucking degenerates. To hell with all you motherfuckers, man. If you ain't even coming in the spirit of your whole body, y'all shy, to hell with you. Okay? It says, depart from me, you, you, you evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Okay? We're going to keep the commandments of your whole body, y'all shy. I don't give a damn what everybody else is doing. Okay? Let's go here. Because, you know, he said, I'll, I'll pray for them. You can't pray for these people, bro. <sighs> this is Jeremiah chapter 7, verse uh, 16. It says, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear it. It's like, for I will not hear thee. See, is thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? You don't see what these people are doing, man? 
How, how, how can you pray for these people? How can you just, how can you open your mouth and say, oh, I'm going I'm to pray for them? We ain't, I ain't praying for no fucking mother. No, 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 no punks. None of that. Okay, let, 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 let's go here. What did the Lord say about these type of individuals? Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 1. He that is wounded in the stones. Why would somebody be wounded in the stones? We have a custom that if you were a homosexual, you know, a, 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 a evil person, you know, an evil doer, you got stoned to death. OK, that that was a judgment that came to Moses. You got stoned to death. So it says he that is wounded in the stones or have his private member cut off. OK, so it shows you that this ain't something new. OK, <laughs> there's nothing new under the sun. They was doing this in Sodom and Gomorrah. Men was cutting their rods off. When women was trying to be uh, men or hath his private member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of Yahweh. So you ain't going if, if you if you out here talking about you a, a, a he, she, a, 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 a mephrodite, a, a, tra a trans, a, 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 a transgender. Guess what? The Lord going to destroy you, man. OK, let me grab that. And it's really vexing, man. It really is vexing. Matter of fact, one of the brothers, the brother, uh, uh, the brother, a uh, 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 ball in my camp, he was saying how he was doing a ride share thing and he had to go to Starbucks. I don't ever go to fucking Starbucks because I already know how many individuals in there. But, you know, he was working. He said he had to go to Starbucks. and He said everybody behind the counter was a mo. He said it was a damn dude that came, came, came to give him the food or whatever with, you know, fake tits. And the name tag said Sarah. But it was a dude, bro. So what? So so how how does the Most High feel about this? It says Ezekiel chapter twenty-two verse uh, uh, eighteen. Son of man, the house of Israel to me, the house of Israel is to me become dross, mean filthy. Okay, all they are brass and tan and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Because if you got silver, if you don't polish it and take care of it you know, over a period of time. It becomes dross. It, 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 it gets this film of dirt on it and it has to be polished again. OK, it says, therefore, the, thus saith Yahweh power, Yahweh Bashan Yahushai, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore, will I gather you into the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it. To melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. So when the Lord comes to deliver the remnant of His people, the majority of His people are going to be left here to melt. Okay, let's grab that. Let's grab that. I'll end off with this, because God does not love everybody, and even of His own people, majority of our people are going to die. You know, a lot of you niggas ain't gonna make it, man. And, and, and we see why. OK, we see why it says Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So in all of the land of America, two parts of our people, it's over 66 percent are going to be cut off and you're going to die. You're going to be destroyed. It says, but the third part. Shall be left therein. The third part is going to be left, and these are the ones that that is not with this wickedness, man. Okay, uh, like 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 a lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's us, man. Look, when we be that elect, we, we ain't getting jiggy with this shit. It says, "I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried." Which is why why we catch hell now, man. Okay, this is this is why the whole world is coming against us because because we ain't like them. Okay. Scripture, the Lord said, if you were of the world, the world will love his own. It says, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say Yahweh is my power. And not everybody's doing that, man. OK, you got this new age movement. shit. Everybody, you know, is their own God, apparently. Well, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see, man. Yahweh is, is uh, about to destroy this place. Let me end off with this right here. Because you saw what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, that's going to have to happen here, too. Okay, and worse, because this place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, it says, uh, da, 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 da. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 6, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. This is going to come to America. America is about to be turned into ashes. 
It says, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should live ungodly. So Simon Gomorrah was an example unto those that should live ungodly in that same spirit, man. If you want to be a nigga, if you want to be, 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 a, be a, a, a mo, a sodomite, a tranny, a, a, a he, she, guess what? The Lord got something for your ass. Don't worry about it. The Lord got something for you. All right. That, 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 that's called living ungodly. It says, and deliver just like, the Lord's going to deliver his elect, man. Okay, the ones in that right mind, the Lord said, he's going to deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's us. We're vexed, man. You should be able to hear it in my voice. That's why, you you know, certain men just ain't, hey, we, can, we can't get down with this, man. And we got to speak out against it. Okay? I don't give a damn if they take the video down. We're going to speak out against this, man. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, Vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, you see. And like I said in the beginning of the video, Israel is inherently righteous. So those of us that's in our right mind, certain shit we, we, we ain't getting down with, man. Okay. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the ungodly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of punish of judgment to be punished. So a lot of these individuals, they're being reserved. OK, until the day of judgment to be punished, man. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball.